Okay, simple lesson because some people are having trouble with the skill queue. And this is the first time you get a chance to do the skill queue, so I want to do a short lesson on it for the people who get lost. Now you've just gotten away from the warp disruption bubbles, and you've just docked according to Aura, and she, they tell you, oh, you're great, they've advanced your uh, skill queue, you're going to be a part of the Minmatar Republic, or the Galenti, or the Caldari, or the Amara, whatever race you've chosen. But you get told the same thing. And so you get Aura, who tells you this lovely little bit about your ability to decide to uh, retrieve a new module. Now they have redeem items to do that. You can do this in a whole bunch of different ways, but I'm, I prefer to use Alt-Y, which says redeem one, um, items, and they're gonna give you a gun and some ammo and a skill. Now a skill will change depending on what you are, and I'm gonna show you what to do, because a lot of you lose a skill and then panic and talk in Wookie Help Chat, which I have opened down in the bottom left. So you hit redeem items say yep I want the items and it says oh look it appeared and then they tell you that you gotta open the inventory. The items will now be in your inventory in the station's item hangar. Thank you. Aura. This is where all of your modules and items will be stored. You now have the weapon module and skill book in your inventory. To view them open the highlighted inventory window from the Neocom and select the item hangar. Now you can do that or you can hit Alt C. You sure are going to start your training with a critical task recruit. We've lost contact with one of the Republic's most important research outposts in the region. This research outpost is a hidden site where the Sisters of Eve have been working with us. It's the Sisters who requested you personally for this mission. I'm going to raise your security clearance for the duration of this mission, but you need to get ready. Aura will provide guidance on the preparations you should make. Captain, I am running different preparation scenarios. Research outposts like these often contain highly sensitive data troves that are securely encrypted. I believe it would be wise to upgrade your ship's capability with a data analyzer module. After reviewing options, it is my conclusion you should build one. Build a data analyzer for the mission, eh? Okay, that sounds like a plan but you'll need the necessary materials to build it. The fastest way to get materials would be to mount a quick raid on a local pirate den. These are the no, kind of the scum who stop at nothing it. to make a profit. Even slavery. Gasp. Why don't you show me how you deal with traitors and renegades who prey on the Minmatar people? By all means, seize as much as you can and take out any who get in your way. Remember, justice is our aim and the tribes reward the just. Okay. Back to the training thing. We should prepare you for this battle against the pirates. To improve your capabilities in space, you might want to start training to operate better weapons. Good idea. Your empire has issued you a new weapon and the skill book required to operate it for this purpose. Skill training is vital for your progression in New Eden, and the skills you choose will prepare you for your path in the stars. You can view your current skills by opening the highlighted character sheet. Okay, that's one way to do it. I could click on the little button up there and that opened the character sheet. I'm going to do that this time and then I'll show you the shortcut for it. So far. To train a new skill, simply drag the skill book from your item hanger into your training queue. You should now drag the weapon skill book to the top of the training queue. This is where people mess up. And so I want to be really clear on it. There's three parts, what I call the image part. The middle part is your skill storage. That's all the skills that you know or could know. And when they're injected into your head, they're not being trained, they're just there ready to be trained. At the bottom is the training queue. And so a lot of people make this mistake. They open up their item hanger, they find the skill, and they drag it, but they don't drag it to there. Don't drag it down here, they drag it up there. And I want to show what happens, so I'm doing it wrong. If you were doing it right, you would drag it into this section here and the book vanishes and you're going it's not training and she, she's telling me to train a skill and I'm not ready okay it was a gunnery skill you may not have memorized it but they gave you a gun ammo and a gunnery skill so if you take a look in this middle section you can see that these are actually folders of all the skills 
and you can act, it's actually set to what you can train right now. You should always have a skill inside your training queue, even as an alpha. Always be training something, and I'll show you a trick about that in a few minutes. But seeing as it was a gunnery skill, a gun skill, we'll open up gunnery. And here are all the gun skills. Now notice some of these you're already trained. You're trained to the first level in control burst, two levels in motion prediction. You got four levels in gunnery. But if you look right here, there's a skill that's got absolutely no levels trained in it. That's the one you just injected. That's the one they want you to learn. So you just click and drag it down below. For this upcoming battle, you should also equip a repair module. Both the new module and the required skill book have been gifted to you. To operate this repair module, you must first train to the required skill level. Okay, so she's given us another skill, which means there's you more You should now retrieve the items. new module and skill book from your redeemable items by clicking on the highlighted Neocom menu, hovering to Inventory, and clicking Redeem Items. Once there, you can click on the items and select Redeem Selected Items. You have also been gifted a mini skill injector. Redeem that as well. To train a new skill, simply drag the skill book from your item hanger into your training queue. You should now drag the skill book to the top of the training queue. Okay, so I'm training small projectile turret right now, which they gave to me so I can actually use the gun. They've now given me another skill, so if I either click the box or hit Alt-C, see we have another book here called shield operation. Now this time I'm going to do it the way they want to in the way she just said, which was drag it to the top of the skill queue. You notice the bottom and the bar is below small projection and I let go. Due to your actions on the field, your commander wishes you to be part of the planned retaliation against the drifters. Your contribution will be improved if your training is completed in time for the operation. The mini skill injector item the commander has supplied will speed up your training process by gifting you free skill points. These skill points can be used to instantly bypass the training times required to complete the necessary skill levels. Skill injectors are hideously expensive, but they are ways to Captain, fast train. Captain, double click on your new mini skill injector and confirm the injection. So this will give you unallocated skill points that you can use to progress confirm. your training. Open your character sheet to use your unallocated skill points. When you've done that, find the Apply Skill Points button and click it. Okay, Apply Skill Points is down at the bottom corner here. The first one says Daily Elf Injector. If you had them, they're expensive. And mainly, EVE is a game of time and training, so you always want to have your skills training. Right now, as you see, if I didn't want to use a skill injector, I could just wait 15 minutes and 21 seconds and uh, shield operation would be trained. I could wait another 15 minutes and 12 seconds and projectile operation would be trained to the first level. But seeing as they're in a rush for me to do this, I will click the use the skills and then say I want to use it on shield operation. And it'll probably do both and go yep and boom. Skill training completed. Congratulations, Captain. You have now trained the required skills to operate both your new weapon and repair modules. And if you look in the bottom corner, I still got 24,000 unallocated To equip skill your points. new weapon module, you must first make space on your ship. To do that, open your ship fitting window and remove the civilian minor module from your ship by right clicking on it and selecting unfit. Okay, this is not what I'm going to do right now because I want to finish the lecture on skill books and skill training. So we have um, the, again, to review back to before she start chatting with us, and she'll wait patiently till I come back. To open up what I want to do, I hit Alt X. That brought up the character sheet. Top is the graphic. Bottom left is where my home uh, medical clone station is right now. This says I'm in Matar and Sebastian and all that sort of thing middle section is all the skills I could train 
bottom section is what actually are training or in line to be trained. If you're an alpha, the, you can't, how to phrase it, the last skill in the line has to be within 24 hours of now. But you can make a skill list longer than 24 hours if you choose to train a skill that takes more than a day. So if I drag gunnery down here, you can see I'm set for the next 9 days, 18 hours, and 10 minutes of training. Now that would be great, but I don't plan on stopping and waiting 9 days, but I don't really need Gunnery 5 right now. To remove it, I can just click, right click and say remove the skill, or I can leave it sitting there. Now what I would actually like to do is be able to sh uh, shoot things a little better. So I dragged Projectile Turret in front of Gunnery from the gun skills. And you can see now it's uh, gunnery just stopped and projectile turret is running and it'll run for the next one hour and 17 minutes and 26 seconds and then automatically shift into gunnery. If you think you might be playing casually, you know, on a day, off a day, always have one of these big skills at the back end so that you're continually gaining skills while the game is, while you're offline. And so you come back, you got more skills. The worst is when you come back after two weeks and realize you had a one day skill on and you just lost, you didn't lose, but you didn't gain 14 days of skills that you could have. Now there's all sorts of skills. I want to talk about this. The big ones that I really like are um, Spaceship Command, always be able to fly the ship that you're flying. And you notice right now, the only ship I have on that list is Mining Frigate don't even have one what we have is called a corvette when you're first starting out and soon you'll be given a skill for the frigate of your race and you can buy frigates of other races and you can fly any ship in the game as an omega and a lot of ships in the game as a free alpha if you're playing that way the one skill i would put on early is drones now to fly drones drones are an excellent weapon especially for miners for self-defense and overall, they're just a secondary, don't have to target them, don't have to use them as much. And I've done a video on drones elsewhere. But I would strongly recommend dropping two levels of drones in. So now you can see that I've got 10 days worth of skills lined out right there. 10 days, 6 hours, and 38 minutes worth of skills. So I'm all set. If you pause or move something, like Mining Frigate, you could see was running for 2 hours and 35 minutes, and I talked for 20 seconds and moved it. And if I rearrange this, I can change what's running. You never lose skills, except in a very special instance of flying a certain type of ship, and the game warns you that's a strategic cruiser. Other than that, you don't lose skills. So you are safe to train, drop, train another one, drop. But, like I said, this is skills you can train. You can see all the skills you have, all the ones that are possible, what the necessities are. If you find a gun and you don't know why you can't shoot it, right click view requirements and then buy the skills that you need. Or wait until someone gives them to you, but that's not likely. This tutorial gives you a bad um, lead as into how the game actually plays. So you can put your skills in the skill queue you got the middle ground for all the skills you might have and the top is just your pretty face and that's about where i'm going to leave this little lesson for now